for astronauts have safely arrived at the International Space Station this morning, a day after a picture-perfect SpaceX launch. NBC's Ryan Chandler is at Johnson Space Center in Houston with the latest on that. Ryan, good morning. Hey, Peter, good morning. Yeah, the four newest residents of space are safe and sound in their new home, the International Space Station. After a 15-hour journey overnight, the SpaceX Dragon capsule successfully delivering a crew of four represented by the United States, Japan, and Russia to the ISS. You see that docking in the pitch black right there. Uh, the, the crew members getting a warm welcome from the current crew on the International Space Station. Very uh, unbelievable day for NASA Commander Zena Cardman. You see her there. Today is her first full day in space, and she is leading this mission. She took a moment to mark the occasion. It was such an unbelievably beautiful sight to see the space station come into our view for the first time. And it's so good to be back, and we're here to, uh, to take good care of it. Matt Fink is the other NASA astronaut representing us uh, there in space. This is his fourth time in the ISS. Their mission for the next six months to determine how we can push humanity farther into space while also bringing uh, new discoveries back here to Earth. Uh, they'll be conducting research to prepare for human exploration beyond low Earth orbit, studying stem cells, even viruses and how they behave in microgravity. It's also a launch, guys, for, for uh, SpaceX, of course, as well as NASA. It's Elon Musk's 12th time bringing his company uh, to the ISS, bringing astronauts there, again, demonstrating their ability not just to get up into space, but to bring those rockets home and potentially reuse them. Peter. You can imagine the astronauts on the International Space Station when there's a knock at the door. Oh, we got company. You know, we've talked about NASA and SpaceX lately. <laughs> They've become increasingly dependent on one another right now. What is ahead? What's next in this partnership? You're right. It's another example of this new age of space travel with NASA increasingly relying on private partners. SpaceX is already contracted to help bring mankind back to the moon and the Artemis missions, but we know they have their sights set much farther. They want to bring us to Mars eventually. Peter. Right. Ryan Chandler, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.